In the previous video I showed how to connect a Mark 14 microcomputer to an LP80 tape reader and I demonstrated um, passing a tape through the reader but I didn't show any programs actually running. So in this video I'm just going to show a couple of programs um, being entered into the Mark 14 and also that the um, tape loader can be reused without having to re-enter it. I would say at this point I've modified the loader slightly to make it smaller I've reduced the explicit loading of the lower byte of 0.01. Uh, the reason I need to do that, of course, because the pointer is automatically reset when the chip is reset, so there is no need to explicitly load it to a zero. Um, that reduces the size of the loader by a few bytes, so it's now 41 bytes, or 35 if you don't need the um, indication LEDs. Okay, so we have the loader entered, ready to go. We've got the tape queued up, so I'll start the loader. So the loader's now running. I'll pass the tape through the reader. So we now have the program into the Mark 14. So we'll try to give it a run. You can see the game is now running. This is the moon landing game. So we'll see if we can land without crashing. So we're slowing down. we crashed into the moon. Okay, so when you get bored with that game, we can reset the Mark 14. The loader is still in position. However, to load another game, we do need to usually make one small change to the loader. If we have a look at the code for the loader, and then I step through, we'll see that when we get to this byte, so it's the fifth byte of the loader. Then this value, which is currently 13, is the start address for the, for the program that we want to load, that is the destination address in memory we want to load it to. And a, a lot of programs have different requirements for that, so the next program I'm going to load needs a different address there, so it needs to be 20, so I'll just change that one value to 20. And then it should be possible to load the next program. So I'll get the tape into the reader. Okay, now I'll run the loader. Pull the tape through the reader. Now have the new program loaded and we'll try to give it a run. And you can see that the program is running. This is just a scrolling message program. When we get bored with that, we can just again cancel, clear the machine. I'll reload the moon landing program just to show that we can go back and forth as often as we want. But again, remembering that we need to change the destination address for the program in the loader. Which is this location. So it needs to be 13 for the moon landing program. I'll put the tape back into the reader. Start the loader again.
we now have the moon landing program back in the Mark 14. So we'll see if it will run. And it's up and running again. So as you can see, you can switch between different programs very quickly. Both of the programs we've just tried are quite large and would normally take between half an hour and an hour to type in if you did it manually. Um, but as you can see, we, we can enter them here in less than a minute. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll look at connecting other devices to the Mark 14 and running other software. Uh, if you've got any questions, then drop a comment.